Recognize the chair of the full committee, Ms. McMarsh Rogers, for five minutes of opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Chairman Duncan, Chair Chairman Johnson. It's great to be kicking off our legislative agenda with you. Our goal on energy and commerce is to ensure reliable, secure, and affordable energy, and that it's available to power homes and businesses across this country. America has been blessed with abundant natural resources. We should be looking toward developing a predictable regulatory landscape across the board that inspires innovation, entrepreneurship, and technological leadership. Hydropower, nuclear, fossil energies, wind, solar, and batteries, we need all of them in order to secure a stronger, more prosperous America. Reduce costs and emissions, address climate issues, and create more robust and resilient communities. Rush to green energy policies, both at the state and federal level, have curtailed reliable energy and infrastructure, resulting in everything from blackouts to spiking prices. We've seen the devastating impact these policies have had on people in Europe, where forced government transition away from reliable energy sources resulted in more dependence upon Russia. These policies are unsustainable and lead to greater reliance on countries like Russia, or in our case, China. If we cede our energy leadership to countries like Russia and China, they'll always leverage that influence to advance their own authoritarian agenda. This is not the future that any of us want. The best way to address future risk, whether they be climate change or global price shocks, is with a strong economy and a more secure, abundant energy supply here at home. We need to put energy security back at the center of energy policy. The solutions we're discussing today reflect key steps to return from the path of shortages and high prices to a path of prosperity. We have several bills that will help unlock American natural gas and its delivery systems. Provide reliable, affordable, and clean natural gas is essential for heating our homes and businesses and strengthening America's global standing, all while continuing to lead the world in reducing carbon emissions. These solutions build on the lessons of the shale revolution, which proved energy expansion can be unprecedented and, and bring energy security while also helping drive down American emissions. We also need to restore America's leadership in clean nuclear energy. I'm leading a bill that aims to eliminate our reliance, which is currently 24%, on Russian nuclear fuels for our nuclear reactors. Expanding our leadership in developing and expanding nuclear energy is going to be one of the top priorities of this Congress. And addressing our reliance on Russian fuel is just the beginning. To unleash American energy, we also need a, a regulatory environment that doesn't hamper industry. Several measures improve regulatory flexibility to assist with the reshoring of industries that manufacture and process critical energy materials. These bills strengthen existing regulations and provide new authorities to enable the EPA and states working together to permit new and expand existing manufacturing. Manufacturing that is key for strengthening our energy security, national security, and ending our reliance on China. It's also a necessary step as we incorporate technologies like electric vehicles and renewables into our energy mix. Additionally, we will consider bills that make sure the EPA focuses on its core mission, which does not include forcing a transition to more expensive, less reliable energy sources and systems. Many of these issues have been bipartisan in the past, and I do hope and expect us to come together. This hearing is an opportunity to provide feedback as we work through regular order. And I should note that it's disappointing representatives from the Department of Energy, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, the Environmental Protection Agency declined to appear. Appearing before this committee is an important part of their obligation to, to Congress, and we expect them to fulfill it. In closing, I look forward to our discussion today on how this committee can improve American energy leadership, security, and people's lives. It's time to get to work, and with that, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. I thank the uh, chairwoman. Um, I want to pause and just say that Congress's thoughts and prayers are with the folks in Syria and Turkey after the devastating earthquake. And uh, I now recognize the 